the line of life the broad shallow line of life often leads people to suppose that it is a sign of a very healthy robust constitution but on the contrary such an indication is not nearly as good a sign as a clear thin deep line the broad line seems to belong to people who have more robust animal strength whereas the finer line relates to people who have more nerve or will force under any strain of ill health it is the finer line that will hold out whereas the broad looking line has not the same resisting force very broad lines on the hand denote more muscular strength than will power if the line is made of chain formation it is a sh- sure sign of a tendency to bad health and especially so if the hand be soft the same marks on a hard firm hand would not indicate as much delicacy because hard firm hands denote in themselves a robust constitution another important point to consider is whether the line of life goes straight up to the side of the mount of venus and narrows to the mount or whether it forms a well defined curve or semicircle out into the palm in the first case it indicates a naturally more delicate constitution and less force of animal magnetism one of the most important blood vessels going from the body to the hand is called the great palmar arch which carries the blood up to the hand towards the root of the thumb and carries the circulation back on the other side of the arch almost underneath the line of life it will therefore be seen that people who has a weaker constitution are more likely to have this great palmar arch narrower in the construction than those who have a robust constitution and strong circulation of the blood this is the reason why when the mount of the venus is large and wide on the hand it gives rise to the idea that it that it indicates a more passionate animal nature than when the mount is thin and narrow